Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Quart of water before breakfast. Let's get this show on the road. It's got a question. Do an order. You don't promote the fruit diet anymore. What's up with that? <laughs> I'm not sure if someone's trolling me. Trolling us. Or what? I don't promote the fruit diet anymore. Says someone. Asking Durian Ryder and Freely the Banana Girl. We don't promote the fruit diet anymore. You don't want to find a single person or couple on the internet that promotes the fruit diet as much as us. Ever. Our website's called 30 Bananas a Day. It's not called 30 Pizza Slices a Day or 30 Potatoes a Day. It's 30 Bananas a Day. Who do you see on YouTube who eats 50 Bananas a Day on a video like Philly did the other day? Or who smashes down banana smoothies like this? And puts it up in daily vlogs. I don't know where you come up with that idea. I think what the confusion arises, maybe is some noobs, they see us giving backup plans or eating some vegan McDougal style dishes and they're like, oh, I don't promote the fruit diet anymore. Now, these are backup plans. Backup plans. In case it's not clear, in case it's fucking not clear, we promote fruit diet as the fucking number one best. Number one best, starch backup plan. Because too many people promote just the fruit diet, but there's no backup plan. There's no, there's no parachute. You, just, you do that, boom, or you hit the ground. There's no parachute. So we give people a, a parachute so they can keep going. You know, That's what we do. That's what we do. And we, we're open about it. We're transparent, transparent about it. We give people options. We don't... I mean, that's cool. I could go... We could go to Thailand and just eat tropical fruit all day and then 99.9% .9 of the viewers go, great, I don't fucking live in Chanterbury, Thailand and I don't have all day to source tropical fruits. What do I do? So this is why we're trying to appeal to the real world situation because when you appeal to the masses, that's when you can get things done because people can actually do this lifestyle versus us going, look at us, we live in this tropical paradise and this is what you should be doing. That's great, but it's not real world. It's not real world. There's enough people out there promoting a 100% hardline wolf food diet that we don't have to do that because there's enough people doing that good job. And that's why we promote other channels and stuff. But when someone says that we don't promote the fruit diet anymore, <laughs> they're even fucking really good troll and they've gone under my radar or they're a, a newbie who doesn't understand the bigger picture. So do we promote the fruit diet anymore? I don't know, man. Have a look at our channel. Have a look at my title banner. It's got a Duran ride and it's got Woodstock Fruit Festival on there. Woodstock Fruit Festival, biggest, most fucking epic health festival on the planet. Fruit. <laughs> Go to our website, 30 bananas a day. What do you see on there? You see the Woodstock Fruit Festival because we give a fuck about promoting it. Because we want people to learn. It's the best festival to go to. If you want to learn about the lifestyle, come to the festival, man. Come meet people. Relate to people. It's great because you've got so many people there. I wanted to talk to every single person for hours and hours. And I did. I talked to a lot of people for hours and hours, but not everyone because there's so many people that's so fucking awesome. You get to meet all sorts of people so you can relate to everyone. It's about having people you can relate to. When you can relate to someone... That's when you can really make change. Because you can go, ah, oh, you have that connection. Versus seeing someone on a movie screen or whatever, or YouTube video, Hollywood production, whatever, and go, that's cool, but I can't relate to that because that's so far beyond my reality. 
That's why I put up all my stuff, transparency, training on Strava, everything. I put, I just want to be transparent as fuck. I put my blood tests up, put everything out there. We put everything out there. We want to be transparent so people can go, I can relate to that. I can see that. That's an achievable goal versus how the fuck do I get there? What's the step by, what do I do? What do I do? That's what we do. That's why we spend so much time on the net, man. Look at my posture. It's all getting all fucked up from computer back. So, I don't know. I don't know. I need to get some carbs in me. <laughs> I get some fruit carbs in there. But it's good that people ask these questions because unless you have clear communication, you can't, you know. That's why I like upfront communication. That's why I'm upfront. I ask direct questions. I expect direct questions. Otherwise, it's... You don't have communication. The quality of life is based on the quality of communication. When you don't know what's going on because people don't tell you, then what can you do? You can just assume. And when you assume things, that's when it can get pretty messy. So do we promote the fruit diet? Hope that answers your question. Look at this. This is my trash on the floor. Fucking juice carton. This is some stickers. You'll see these all over the world. Thailand, USA, Australia. We don't put them up though. Go fucking fruit yourself. <laughs> Breakfast smoothie. About 2,400 calories. Bananas. Dried fruits. You can see the chunks here. It's the fruit wise straps. And they just let them soak in there. They're nice and chewy now. Bit of organic sugar, 100 grams. So about 2,400 calories, 2,500 calories. I eat more fruits in one meal than the average Australian eats per month. Per month. <laughs> the fruit makes you fat. Dude, I doesn't promote a fruit diet anymore. But he eats like 2,500 calorie of fruit meal for like breakfast. He doesn't promote a fruit diet anymore. <laughs> Fucking. Let's get this baby down the hatch. Knock it back. Cluster fuck yourselves with simple sugars and fr pr fruit nutrients. Mm. Delectable. Delectable. Done. Take your time with your smoothies. Smoothies is the best meal you can have. You can have it at work. It's so productive. So if you sip them, type them, you can be hanging out, having a picnic, be with your kids, whatever, having your backpack, be hiking and walking and sipping. The smoothie is an amazing meal for our time crunched society. The smoothie is the king and queen of fucking nutrients. Green smoothie, fruit smoothie, fruit and green smoothie. Carb the fuck up. See you next meal. So here we have a dinner. I've got, this is the best grape juice if you're in Australia. It's quite expensive, but it's the best fucking grape juice you can get. Lloyd's, these guys pick them at the peak time. Certified organic Australian juice. This is uh, 750 mils, so that 20 Oz. It's about 600 calories there. And it's just so sweet, it's pure sugar. Pure fucking sugar. Again! Don't drink fruit juice, because it makes you fat like doing order. Looks like fucking Bruce Lee, Aunt Lance Armstrong face. Lean. Mmm. Sweet. Fuck drinking wine, drink grape juice. Organic, don't panic. We've got some lettuce. Zero calories. Zero calories in greens. Don't count your calories from greens, because they've fucking got pretty much none. This is good. This is, how do I eat greens? Mmm. Mm, like that. There's a slug there. I'll put him in the garden. I'm sitting out in the garden right now. In the ship. Something to chew. A handful of organic banana. This is four dollars. Australian. This is the fucking best organic dry banana in the world I've ever had. I can't get it. This is all I was allowed to get today. I've really got the rest, so it's just it's limited supply. We actually know who makes it, but it's very limited supply, so it's just a handful, a mouthful for four dollars. Is this an expensive diet? If you live in Australia, it is. It's not for low income earners at all. But then again, that saying I did do this lifestyle when I was living on welfare, but I was essentially just living on the street and I was foraging a lot of my food. And it, you can do that when you don't have a job or anything 
and your responsibilities, you can spend a lot of time foraging and getting a, a bit of calories around, definitely. I was spending, you know, probably eight hours a day just riding around the neighborhood, just scanning, scanning. And depending on what time of year it was, you could get a fair bit of calories. But it became your day job. So if, you, if you're if broke and you're watching this and you're in Australia, forage. Just get a bike and just ride around the neighborhood. You'll get chased. You'll have cops coming and all sorts of shit. But you'll get some really fucking incredible fruit. These days, we spend our time on the internet 10 hours a day or more just answering questions, doing videos, trolling, whatever, getting the message out there because we feel that's more important. So definitely our fruit quality has declined somewhat, but we're cool with that. We're still lean, high energy. That's fine. We've got backup plans. Essentially, our message hasn't changed. Early 2010, we started promoting McDougal-style backup plans because we started to see, well, fuck, what's happening? And even with ourselves, it's like you, you're trying to do raw, so then you're like, I've got to raw, I'm really fucking hungry, can't get fruit. Oh, I can get some nuts, though. And he's fucking chowing in the nuts, so you're making a lot of nut butters or whatever. And that's not good for your health. It's, your energy just boom, drops. So having the cook stances, backup plan, we've always been promoting that since 2010. Hasn't changed. But what people were saying is, oh my God, you guys are doing something. We're not doing anything fucking different. We might be eating pizza live on camera just to show you how much you need to fucking eat. But our message hasn't changed. Fruit's always the best. It's always the best. If you can't get enough fruit, have a backup plan. You know, have a backup plan. I think recently we deleted, well not we, but yeah, well actually we, our moderators deleted Don Bennett from our forum. And we've got nothing personal against Don. I think Don's a great guy. We get along in person just fine. Don's message was a bit different to ours and he was saying, you know, don't need to eat that many calories, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's, that's Don's opinion. He's entitled to that's fine. It didn't go along with our message in our forum. So the moderators just said, Don, here's the door. <laughs> So we don't have any ill feelings towards Don. Same as John Kohler. Again, saying that 30 bananas a day is not healthy, not whatever. That's fine. That's, that's John's opinion. We get along in, just fine in person. But John got shown the door as well <laughs> on the North Korean raw food forum. And that's fine. We don't hate John or Don or whatever. It's just that their message wasn't in tune with what we are trying to promote. And that's cool. Everyone's got different messages and different things, even though we're, we're sort of on the same page. We have pretty much... Don... And John, myself and Freely, we eat pretty much the same fucking diet, you know? We pretty much do the same thing. But, you know what our forum's like? It's North fucking Korea, all right? <laughs> if you're not with us, there's the fucking highway. Doesn't mean we hate you, though, all right? We're just trying to keep... It's, it's a fucking big forum, man. We're trying to keep it online, on track. So this is, this is like going on a bike ride and someone says, I want to go this way. Okay, you can go that way. But our group's going this way. That's fine. We'll meet, meet up here at the top of the mountain or whatever. But it's all good. So no hard feelings towards John or Don. It's just how it is. It's just the North Korean 30 bananas a day program. I'm going to get my breakfast, my dinner, sorry, done. We'll see you soon. Post your comments down below. Peace. Mm -hmm.